Y'all probably only know me from qualifying NBA 2K16, Road to the Finals, Team Owner of RTG. Now, I'm not a streamer. I'm not even a YouTuber. I literally just made this shit today. Because after the past few days and all the bullshit and lies that this man, Dope Swag 24 has been giving the whole world on why we didn't compete in Road to the Finals, now I got to give y'all the truth, bruh. Because this dude is not keeping it real with y'all. And y'all going to see how evil and unfair this shit really is for this man, Dope Swag 24, out of anybody to even have the nerve to say he's the victim in this shit and that I quit on him. $250,000 and your team quit on you over a jump shot. That's what you're telling the people and they actually buying this shit. Well, now you're about to get exposed, bruh. Now, we're going to get to all the screenshots and big proof later on in the video. But first, let's address his side and what's true and what's not. Yes, there was a jump shot. Yes, there was an argument between Dope and Benny. But was anybody even tripping about that shit as much as Dope was? No. Dope was the only one making the biggest fucking deal about that shit, bruh. It's funny as fuck, too, how you show Benny's voice in the argument, but fail to show the grown man temper tantrum you threw after the game. You was hurt the most over that shit. We end up rematching that same team we just lost to. Dope in here talk about, I ain't even about to shoot no more. Then mutes his mic the whole game and we lose again. So quit lying to the people, bruh. You was the only one in your feelings that night because you had a shitty game. But now, even after that game, even though we took a bad L, even with Dope still not talking, still in his feelings, we all regroup in a party, try to squash that shit and talk this shit out. And he still refused to turn his mic on and cooperate. And according to Dope Video, if everybody else was supposed to be mad at him after that situation and wants to quit on him like he claims, how the fuck you explain this screenshot, bruh? Now this is me, trying to get you to turn on your mic still, to talk to the team and sort this out. But you still in your feelings not trying to be part of nothing. He's telling me shit like he's done. I even call him out. I let him know he acting ridiculous. Pretty much saying, I know this ain't you, bro. And good games. Tomorrow's a new day. I'm actually over here sympathizing with this grown man who did nothing but act like a big baby the whole fucking night. And little do I know at the time, but that last message from Dope at the top will be one of the last two final messages I ever even get from this man. Now, y'all could tell me, do it look like I'm somebody who's trying to give up on Dope, give up on his team? I'm trying everything to help this dude get through whatever emotions he's going through and make this shit right. And of course, he don't even reply to that shit. Now, through this whole video, remember that pattern right there. Dope got a problem, I reach out, and he refused to communicate. Now, back to his side. In his video, he says after that day, he decides to take a day off. Now, that's cool. But at that time, you should have let me know, bruh. You literally just blew the fuck up the night before. You telling me you done. That's the last message I got from you. The team just doesn't know where your head's at, bruh. We see you online and everything, and you just ignore all of us with no type of notice. You even leaving group chats people put us in, so you on PSN. But you can't say one word to your team? One word to me, at least, when I did nothing wrong to you? So that whole day goes by, don't shut us out. Now it's the next day. And the only people we can get in contact with at this point is Phantom and AI. Dope still refusing to talk to all of us directly, so he got Phantom and AI talking to us for him. This is the dude we're dealing with, y'all. And according to the internet, this is supposed to be our leader. So at this point, given the two days he ignoring us, the night before where he wouldn't turn his mic on, all this bullshit with literally days before the tournament, all we can think of as a team is, he really got to be done, bro. Just like his message said to me. Because as a team, we can't just sit here and keep letting this man ignore us, bruh. Because before you know it, it's going to be Saturday. The last game we played, we got killed. We ain't played since because of this shit. We going to be fucked. We actually talking about it now in the party that we might have to replace his ass if he done, like he says. Now, as we were talking about that, I don't know if he caught wind of this shit someone told him. But now, he finally decides to write us in a chat. Now, for me, I leave that chat with the quickness. I don't want no text, bruh. It's been days. Join this party. Talk to your team like a quote-unquote leader should because you really got your whole team tripping now. He's still not joining, y'all. He continues only to message, so whatever. Now, all Doe can say to the team after all the petty shit he done pulled was this shit right here. Y'all done and wrote to the finals. What? Are we done? Are you serious? Now, mind you, we already questioned whether he wants to come back or not. So how the fuck does that sound? So y'all done. Nobody on the team even believes he cares anymore. So to really find that shit out and the whole team knows and can vouch for this shit. I reply with the same shit he hit me with. We done. Now he tries to make the claim. That's when everybody quit on him. But all we wanted from this dude who has showed no signs of wanting to be on the team anymore is to finally show that shit right now so we can move forward from this shit that you started. And that was a fair accusation, y'all. Because ask yourself, 
You would think anybody who actually cared about this shit would have more to say to that than what he responded with. I just I y'all it was that fucking easy like we wasn't right about you being done right and the craziest part about all of this is that would be the second and final message I ever get from this man so you gave up on us dog you proceeded to delete all of us force us to have to find another teammate days before the tournament I even hit up road to the finals people right after this shit and here's the proof and this shit proves right here that we had no intentions of quitting after that shit like you claimed you just left this hanging bruh and that's the thing too that shit say the 17th, y'all. The same day, all this shit went down. Now, how the fuck is it even possible to quit a tournament when you got four days still to get it together? And the saddest part is, and now looking back, that's the one thing I regret more than anything, is that's exactly how I chose to look at it at the time. Now, Dope even said it himself in his video, and everybody in our circle knows this about me, that even when I feel like people do fucked up shit to me, I don't just give up on my friends. And this is at the time where I know, bro, you just lost your leaderboard spot. I know deep down you probably just going through some shit. And that's everything I wanted to talk to you about, but you chose to ignore me. You can go ahead and ask anybody me and Dope was always close. And even though he was being a fucking weirdo at the moment, everybody in RTG once went through a phase where they isolated themselves, but they always came back around. So I decided I wasn't going to give up on this man. I'm going to just give him time. Plus, my logic really is, y'all, at the time... There's no way we don't actually come back and play together. I don't care if we make up one day before the tournament or we don't even like each other anymore. 250000 on the line, it gotta work out. Nobody's that fucking stubborn. So Friday comes, everybody doing our own thing, and Dope drops a tweet. Talking about L's finna be caught in my next video, announcing RTG is not gonna participate in the tournament. Are you serious, yo? Like, it's not even fucking Saturday yet. How did you come to that conclusion, bruh? Like I said, he had that video ready on Friday, a day before the tournament. He gave up already, no try. Now, he can lie all he wants and say he only tweeting that because we already officially quit. But if I already officially quit, dope, then why the fuck did Road to the Finals hit me with this? Go ahead and read that shit, y'all. Road to the Finals first and only sign of quitting with RTG came from dope swag. So now I'm really tripping. Like I'm over here stalling the team waiting for you to come around and all you've been doing with your time is making a video to try to expose us? Like this can't be real. So now I'm waiting all day for this shit to drop. But eventually midnight comes and I realize he ain't dropped no video. Now why would Dope tweet he would drop a video and not drop nothing? Like I'm really thinking at this point this dude is confused. This probably just his weird way of saying he want to play but his pride just not letting him and even if it's not... Fuck it, at this point, I'ma run with it. So I barely get any sleep that night, bruh. I wake up at 5 a.m. just to write this message here. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to squash everything at this point. Like, he gotta come around after this. I'm putting everything aside to get anything from Dope. Taking all responsibility at this point, letting everybody know both sides was stupid, even saying if we never talk again, it's goodbye, just to get him to think, do you really wanna throw all this away right now, bruh? Just pulling out anything I can. Now, mind you, that's at 5 a.m., Day of the tournament. Our game don't even start till 12. I'm making all the effort now just to get this shit right so we can play. So time passes, Dope don't say nothing back, and then boom. This motherfucker actually drops the video. Like he really uploaded that shit, y'all. A video titled why RTG won't be in the tournament before the tournament even started. Now do y'all see how that literally makes no fucking sense? Y'all really gotta think about this shit. If Dope uploads a video titled why RTG won't be in the tournament, and the tournament hasn't even started yet, but I'm hitting him up all between it and he's not replying? Then that means he didn't want to be in this shit just as much as he claims anybody else and that's facts. Look at all this shit I'm sending him, bro. You can pause the video, read all that shit. I'm trying to reach out. Mind again, this is at 9 a.m. now and our game's at 12. Plenty of time for this man to reply back and communicate for once so we can still compete. Meanwhile, he on Twitter putting up the biggest fucking front. Look at all the times on these tweets. Look at the time on my messages. You over here replying to comments, changing your about me, but you can't reply to me, bruh. Again, I'm trying to reach out. I'm trying to have a conversation. He ignoring me still. Day of the fucking tournament. And if Dope even tries to lie like he replied or these messages weren't the day of the tournament, look at this, bro. 521 is the date. No replies at all still to this day. Now, you would think that someone who claims that not trying is the greatest failure can say anything to me when I was the only motherfucker trying, bro. And I know you see my fucking messages. And the saddest part is, according to the Internet, you supposed to be our leader, right? Did you ever act how a leader should once when this shit was going down? 
Tell me, what the fuck did you contribute to this situation in any way besides make a video bashing all your teammates and lie to the world about a problem you started in the first place? How the fuck you drop a 17 minute video on why RTG won't compete in Road to the Finals and only got 5 minutes of that shit actually giving your half ass explanation? Rest of the video is just you airing out nothing but irrelevant personal shit about your own crew. This man was just hurt, bro. That's why he didn't reply to my messages because all he wanted was revenge. He couldn't wait for that fucking video to drop. This man Dope Swag gave up on us, y'all. All because of one bad shot. One argument, you turn into the biggest pussy. And you want to know what I truly think the reason is now that you didn't want to play? Because real fucking shit, I think you realized it that very day. That if you played like you did in that one game where all this beef started and rolled to the finals and we lost, your ass would have got fucking exposed, bruh. Because I don't know what the 2K community's logic is, but you really got people thinking just because you were the first Legend 5 that you were actually even the best player on the team. When in reality, you were one of our weakest links and anybody that ever played against us can vouch for that shit. People saying we lucky to have you like we ain't carried a fuck out you to even get there. I averaged 54 and 15. That averaged 46 and 10. But we lucky you got us there. What you happy Scott OG dumbass gave you a shout out for not missing a shot? When you only took three fucking shots? Out of all four games? Bro, how the fuck me and Bat get double digit assists every game and you only end up with three field goals in four games? What the fuck else did you do besides get my rebounds and get carried? Everyone in our circle knows I'm the real leader of this team. Every single play we ran were my plays I came up with. Crosses, cross cuts, backdoors, steezo cuts, all the shit you see RTG do on stream, I gave that shit to them, bruh. So I don't want to hear none of that be grateful shit. You should be thanking me, bitch. Only thing you did that I could say is get my video game name out there, bruh. But what the fuck is clout when your life don't revolve around this 2K shit anyway? And it's sad, too. Because all the shady shit that go on behind the scenes in RTG... The people don't even know about that shit, dope. And it's even sadder that I'm not petty enough, nor do I give a fuck enough to even go that deep. See, the only reason you even got this video was because you wasn't keeping it 100 with your people. This could have been a lot more civil, y'all. He was streaming the other day talking shit. All I wanted to do was talk to you man to man on stream so that everybody could know the facts. But all you did was ban me like a coward and end your shit immediately. Because you know you ain't been telling the truth. Like, it's really going to hit you one day. You did some evil shit, bruh. And you would think that after the Dirkster No situation that you went through, dope, where he lied about you personally on the internet and bashed your name and everybody believed him, that you would know better. Because Bat remembers how you were and he was there for you that whole time you were down. You were OD depressed. Well, times that shit by 10 and that's what I'm living with right now. Motherfucker, I'm past depression. Like, every day I get sick to my stomach when I think about this shit. Like, do y'all really know how it feels to put in so much work into something and then have the opposite? Somebody who barely even showed he cared at all and ain't put in half the work. Literally get all the glory for everything you worked so hard for. Meanwhile, you get no credit and all the blame for when this shit fails. When he's just as guilty as all of us. And yes, dope, I said all of us. See, the difference between me and you is I take responsibility for this shit. Because this whole thing at the end of the day was just childish as fuck but in no way shape or form is everybody on your team guilty but you and you just an innocent victim get the fuck out of here bruh i tried everything to get your ass to come around gave you second and third chances you ain't do nothing but act like a pussy for the whole final week and make a video throwing your whole team under the bus and you could talk all the shit you want on this video dope get all your little fans to hate on me go for it because you already took my chance at 50k Got the whole world thinking I'm a quitter. Ain't nothing worse you could do to me at this point, dog. I ain't played a video game since. You can keep this fake online shit. So all in all, pardon me and my ignorance when I say this. But fuck Dope Swag 24. Fuck your grind. Fuck First Legend anything. I hope your guilt eats you alive and the truth haunts you so bad you can't sleep at night, bitch. It's RTGK now. If I ever see you on 2K17, I'm pulling up on you and I'm taking all fades. Now with that being said, I'm out, cuz. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit.